Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to flash the ESP32 from the command line. So if you're anything like me, uh, you've probably used Arduino before and wanted to know what was going on under the hood. Arduino tends to abstract a lot of the underlying uh, implementation of programming. They have functions like setup and loop, uh, and they have you know pin mode and digital, digital write for controlling GPIO, and uh, they have an arrow here for compiling and flashing your code. But if you're curious what more there is to electronics and programming, uh, at some point you're probably going to want to use something a little more advanced. And if you're trying to program the ESP32, then there's this tool called the Espressif SDK, um, which is the IoT development framework by Espressif which is the manufacturer of the ESP32. Um, so yeah, the ESP32 is just right here. It's this chip which has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. Um, and fortunately, their, their SDK is pretty straightforward to download and install, and you can get up and running within a couple of minutes. So we're just gonna quickly download the installer. and go to the Windows section, because I have Windows, and just click the Universal Online Installer here. Pretty much if you have an internet connection, uh, that's the only one you need to click. So I've already downloaded the installer, and it's on my desktop, so I'm just going to go to my desktop and click it. We're gonna use English, accept the agreement, it's gonna do a system check. And once that's all done, just click download ESP IDF. I'm gonna use version 4.43, just because I know it's a stable version. We're gonna to download to the C drive, and we're just gonna use the default options. However, if you're a Rust developer, then you can actually download Rust language support. But for now, we're just gonna use the default settings. So just click the install button right here. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But once you finish, it'll open up these two shells right here, uh, CMD and PowerShell. And it'll load these environment variables needed for using the IDF commands uh, from the framework. So it doesn't really matter uh, which shell you use, so we're just gonna use CMD. And uh, there are a few examples that we can use uh, just right here in the in the shell that opened up. So if you just click dir uh, and go into examples and then go into get started, there is a, a project called Hello World. So if we just go into here, uh, you'll see that there's a, a CMake file and then there's a, a main uh, directory which has the source code for the project. Um, so we can just Check out main if you're curious. Uh, it's got the hello world main uh, .c and then the CMake uh, compiler script uh, again. So we're just going to go back to the uh, hello world project directory. And so we can try out that command we saw earlier, which is idf.py build. And so what that's going to do is it's going to invoke CMake on our project and uh, compile a binary um, for our ESP32, uh, which is uh, really neat that you can do this all uh, from the command line. Um, if, you're, if you've used Arduino before, uh, you know this is all accomplished by clicking this, this arrow right here, and it kind of abstracts everything from you. But now we can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, so it's compiling 1,035 targets here, so this will take a few minutes. So we're just gonna fast forward. So it looks like our build just finished and everything uh, was successful. So the next thing we can do is flash the SP32 uh, with the binary. And they give you the command right here that you need uh, in order to do that. The only thing you need to figure out is what uh, COM port that your ESP32 is connected uh, to. So I have mine in my USB port right now. It's right here. And we can just verify um, what COM port it's using by going to the device manager and going to the uh, ports uh, section. 
So uh, we can see that it's in uh, the COM6 port, uh, which happens to be uh, the Silicon Labs CP210X driver, uh, which is a USB to UART driver. <clears throat> so if you don't already have this driver, you should definitely install it because most uh, electronics that require a USB connection uh, will we'll need this driver. So go ahead and download that if you don't have it. So we can just type in here idf.py uh, p com 6 and then flash and uh, another um, command you can kind of append to this one is uh, monitor and that will actually uh, monitor the output from the SP32. So we can just enter and you can see uh, that it connected um, and is now currently flashing the SP32 and it is now uh, running the Hello World program. Uh, which we can see right here that it's that it's output hello world. Um, <clears throat> so this program will actually uh, count down from 10 seconds and reset itself, uh, which it is clearly doing right here. So that kind of indicates that everything is working um, as expected. Um, so that wraps up this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. it just a brief introduction to the uh, ESP IDF framework and. Uh, Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'm going to come out with some more videos on how to use this framework and the SP32 in general. All right, see you later.